What's your name? Nicole. Hi, Nicole. How old are you when you realized that you were sick? Uh, three to five years old. And what do you remember about being sick? Um, involved half of my life in the hospital. When I was in the hospital with Nicole, which seemed to be like clockwork every Friday evening, mm -hmm. she would develop a fever and be admitted to the hospital for at least 72 hours. She'd go home for a day or two yes. and be readmitted, and it just seemed like clockwork. We were told, um, we know what your daughter has, we know what it's called, we know we don't know many people that have it, we just don't know how to treat it. She's receiving blood transfusions, um, yep, started months, was torture, um, started monthly, um, then went to every three weeks, every two weeks, and at one point she was getting transfusions every three days. How did you feel? Um, I felt scared, like my body wasn't going to be able to handle much more medicine, and one, one day when they gave me medicine, I was just going to die because it was too much. For year after year, she had an enlarged spleen, and she actually looked like a child who was pregnant. And we just had become used to it, but as she became older, she became very embarrassed about it. Well, Nicole's improvement in her health and her success now as a young lady is completely due to the support of medical research with repurposing old drugs. How did you feel after taking the rapamycin? Um, I felt better. I was running around. I was going to the playground with like every other kid. She's able to do things she couldn't do before, um, ice skating being one. Um, anything with a large spleen, we weren't able to do. I would even going outside so much as sleigh riding, we'd have to worry. And there's not blood transfusions, and there's no IVIG transfusions. It, it's just a godsend. Laura can now work full time. I can work full time. We just did not have that capability before, and our family life is. Uh, balanced and nearly like most other families at this point. The bills, uh, you know what, they kept piling up and piling up and more, we have insurance, so more so was the admissions to the hospital, um, the different trial medications that we had to try. You know, you have to do what you have to do. Um, I think the scariest part wasn't we weren't even thinking about the money. I, I remember that the bills were an average of ten to 20000 a year. It's another mortgage payment. If you would have told me those two little pills were going to give us our life back, I would have laughed at you after all that we went through. But I didn't never think we would be able to I'd go back to work and she'd be a little girl again. And she'd be able to, again, be a little girl. She was never able to be a little girl. Um, and it's all because of the rapamycin. If you could say one word to Dr. Tichi, and everybody that helped you get this medicine, what would you say? I would say, thank you very much. You saved my life.